Overnight, dozens of city and county police involved in a chase. The dramatic video you'll only see here. ABC 21's Corinne Rowe spoke with authorities who shared their tactics to try to stop that driver. 23-year-old Justin Ryan Edwards had warrants for his arrest when Allen County officers spotted him driving by. He refused to pull over, so the officers pursued him and called Fort Wayne police to help when the chase entered city limits. Nearly every squad car is equipped with stop sticks for situations like this. Officers get ahead of a suspect, try to predict where he will drive, and put the stop sticks in the road so the car will drive over them and puncture the tires. They're very dangerous to deploy because obviously there's traffic in the street, um, and a lot of officers over nationwide have been killed while deploying stop sticks. So it's always one of those dangerous things. However, a pursuit can be more dangerous. Sergeant Sophia rosales Scatina says communication in this type of scenario is key so that officers don't run over the stop sticks in their squad cars. When the tires get blown out, a car is still drivable, but will go much more slowly. Obviously, they're driving through things they shouldn't be driving through where there could be people, so that's a danger in it of itself, but the speeds decrease dramatically. They're not uh, going 100 and 120, they're down to maybe 20, 30 miles an hour at most. When a Fort Wayne officer deployed the stop sticks, Edwards drove over them, but didn't stop. The pursuit continued as Edwards drove on Harris Road and into the West Wind apartment complex, but through the lawn, not on the streets. You'll see some of the officers peel off the pursuit as they try to go around and head him off. We do try to uh, limit the amount of officers actively involved in those unless, and it depends on the situation too, who are we chasing, what are they wanted for, um, those kinds of things. Police eventually arrested Edwards. He's being held without bond until a court hearing Thursday morning when he'll be formally charged with felony resisting law enforcement. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. A court document showed the chase lasted about 45 minutes. Edwards reportedly told officers he didn't stop because he had a warrant for his arrest and he was scared to go back to jail.